Welcome to the Session Techies. My name is Yogesh Kumar. In session today, we are going to discuss how to perform password hashing and uh, how you can use a hashed password with uh, any automation tool, for example, Ansible. So first thing, friends, uh, what is password hashing? So password hashing is a method to take variable length password as input and creating a cryptic password which will be a fixed length password uh, using different cryptic mechanisms. So term cryptic mean uh, something secret or uh, something puzzling. To make your hashed password more secure, you can add uh, salt to your input. Basically salt is a random value you can add uh, to your password input to generate uh, more secure hashed passwords. I've listed a couple of benefits of using hashing. Uh, first one, instead of storing the plain password of user, storing hashed password make more security. For example, let's say you store all the password in a database. Someone hacks your server, he got access to all plain passwords so he can easily use your user or manipulate the things. But if password is in uh, hashed format so it will be very difficult for hacker to decrypt the passwords okay uh, that's a second point basically which I have uh, listed uh, on my screen third thing hashed password can be used for managing user in automation tool let's say you want uh, to change your root password on 100 of your servers after every three months one way you can log into each and every server and change password that is going to take uh, a lot of time so if you use any automation tool let's say ansible you can uh, change all of your root passwords let's say on a hundred or thousand of servers in couple of minutes so that's again handy thing or let's say you don't have uh, ad integration in your setup on your linux or solaris servers so you have to add a local user with that local user you can supply hashed password so whenever user gets created using ansible it will get uh, hashed password uh, as a user password so next thing i have listed a couple of methods to generate hashed password one is using python you can do that uh, if you can see on my screen uh, this is the command for this uh, it need a crypt module and a get pass module so they are installed uh, by def default with Python once you install Python they will get installed second way uh, you can use OpenSSL so with OpenSSL uh, if you see this is a salt value here I am using random salt value because I don't want salt value to be fixed every time because if it, that's a fixed salt value if uh, hacker you know okay like I'm using this particular salt value on my servers then again uh, I'm compromising with my security little bit if I use random salt value it's again a difficult thing for hacker to decrypt my password so one thing I want to tell you with uh, this Python command uh, it will generate or use a SHA-512 algorithm which is the like strongest algorithm as on date on Linux okay so next thing if you want to check on your client or target operating system what is the password hashing algorithm so you can run this command auth config test 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 and grab for password hashing algorithm so by default friends most of the linux distribution support sha 512 because uh, that's not new algorithm that came uh, i believe a couple of years back and that's supported by all major linux distributions and uh, to give more example thing uh, I have written a small playbook so what this playbook is doing uh, it is uh, using these two variables one is user password let's say whenever you create any user you want uh, some standard password to, to be set up let's say uh, you you can replace this bit with uh, your hashed password and uh, root password let's say after every quarter you are changing your root password so you can put your root password here which will be in hashed format and in tasks I got uh, two tasks one is create a user new user let's say username is Yogesh K this will be UID this is comment section and password I have used variable so whenever using password uh, variable uh, quote it that's a requirement so this variable will call this user pass okay 
and I have uh, put it a tag as create user. What is the benefit of using tag here? Uh, instead of running whole playbook, I can run this particular section if uh, requirement is only to create user. Second task I got to update root password. Let's say, as I mentioned, you have to change quarterly password or for your root user. So user root, update password always, password is equal to this particular root underscore pass variable and I tagged it as update root pass. So you will be wondering why I have chosen different uh, format uh, like this particular task is in different format like uh, each uh, each entry got separate line but here everything in single line that's to show you like how you can define the playbooks. So let's uh, perform technical session friends. Let me open one session. Here, if you can see on my screen, I'm on a Linux server. Uh, this server is my Ansible control server and uh, I'm NCDM user, which got uh, SSH key set up uh, for uh, communicating with Ansible clients. Okay, so let me show you host, dot, uh, host file. Basically, I got one server, which is my target server. So first thing, let's verify what's a password algorithm on this server. One thing, I can log into this server and run command. Other way, I can use Ansible shell module. So if you see Ansible, this is a server, which I want to check, minus M mean module, I'm using shell module, minus A is for command, which I want to run. So I run this command on uh, target server, at config, followed by dash, 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 and I pipe grep password hashing. If you see, this is the output, password hashing algorithm is SHA-512. As I mentioned, most of the Linux distributions have uh, SHA-512 as algorithm. I can run this command here to explain uh, what's the uh, uh, mechanism here. Uh, basically, a password hashing algorithm. If you see on this machine also, I got the uh, same algorithm. Okay, so next thing, uh, let's uh, generate a password, hashed password using Python. To generate a password using Python, uh, I'm see, uh, one thing uh, I want to tell you, when you are generating password, no need to become root user. You can generate password from any user for any user. I'm repeating, from any user for any user. So let's say I'm NCDM. I'm generating a random password here. So it is asking password. Why it is asking password? Because I have used get pass uh, as a Python command. Okay, so here let me set password something okay if you see this is the password generated and if you see dollar six dollar six mean uh, this is sha 512 if uh, that's dollar five that mean uh, sha 256 uh, algorithm is used so by default as i mentioned uh, this python command will use uh, sha 512 as an uh, encryption algorithm that's a one way if i generate same password again i'm typing same password you will notice this password hashed password is different even I used the same password as input why because uh, with SHA-512 that's more secure and uh, this automatically adds a salt value which will be random salt value that's a one way to generate password and second way is using open SSL okay with open SSL that generates uh, MD5 algorithm password but let me show you how you can generate Open SSL password minus one, base six, and uh, here let me type my password. Let's say this is my password, test one, two, three. Okay, if you see with dollar one, this is the password. Dollar one mean and it's MD5 password, and this is the hashed password. And this was my password input, and this is salt value, this one. Then I'm repeating again, salt is random bits, which we can add to our password uh, to make it more secure. Okay, so this is the way how you can generate uh, uh, hashed password friends. Thing, uh, let's update password in playbook. I have created a playbook uh, with name hashpass.yml. So let's say uh, I want to update root password which is my SHA-512 password, okay? And uh, let's create uh, 
or generate one user password also. This password will be for my user, normal user. Let me update file again. Uh, if you want, I believe you will be confused with this playbook. Let me explain it again. So I go to password, both are SHA-512. Okay, what this playbook is doing? Host mean all, whatever host uh, in host file, this playbook will run on all those servers. It will use user NCDM as a SSH user. Become yes, mean it will become root on a target machine using pseudo mechanism. These are the variables, user pass is first variable, root pass is second variable. In task, it will create a user with name Yogeshke with UID this one. This is the comment section, password it will use user underscore pass variable which is this one, this particular which is the value. Shell, it will set shell to use bin bash. Tags, tag is basically to identify or uh, differentiate with, uh, different tasks. So tag is create user. Other task is to update root password. It is not creating root user. It is just checking name root. Update password always. Password is this particular variable and the tags go to update root pass. So let me show you how you can run uh, one by one. So first let's check uh, whether my target machine or you can say Ansible client is up or not. Up mean uh, whether it's reachable over network or not. So Ansible minus M mean module, I'm using ping module, all mean all the servers. Okay, if you see output came uh, success, it mean as this is a target machine that's up. Okay, so now let's uh, check T tags. Why I use tags, let me explain now. Ansible playbook, playbook name, minus minus list dash tags. So this will list out tags, it go to tags, create user or update root underscore pass. So if I run this playbook, uh, let's say like this, it will run both the tasks which got these tags. If you want to run only create user, let's say. So you can uh, use minus T, create user. So it will run only create user part. It will not run update root password. So that, that's for example only. Let me run it. So if you see it is it run only create new user thing. It not executed, update root password. And if you see that's changed, it mean it created a user on target machine. Okay, now let me run uh, this playbook without any tag. So this time uh, it will not uh, create a user because that's already created uh, in last command. If you see create new user, it said okay because it changed nothing because user is already created and it, it go to the password which we just uh, set it up. And uh, this is the second task to update root password. It changed the root password on target machine. If you see changed one and failed nothing. So friends, uh, that was demonstration. Let me log into my target machine which is my Ansible client and uh, see whether user got created or not. So I'm becoming root, cat etc password you see Yogesh K. Okay, this user got, got created. Let's check attribute of this user. If you see user got created on November 14th. It is showing November 14th. It means uh, something is incorrect uh, with server date. Hmm, that's strange. Why it is showing uh, this user got created in November 14th? It's November 15th. Mm, let me delete this user. No, no, why to delete? Let me check here. Date. Okay. So, okay, so I got it, friends. Uh, it is taking time in different format. If you see that's AEDT, that time is an EST. So that's a time difference. That's confusing me. So I believe you got it. Why it is showing? So, friends, uh, that was a demonstration how you can. Uh, use the passwords and uh, how to generate hashed password, how you can use hashed password with uh, automation tool. So let me show you one another bit. 
So I believe you got it right uh, why it got November 14th here because time is in EST time zone on uh, my I am in uh, Australian time zone so that's a difference 12 hours something difference I want to show you another thing maybe if you see shadow file if you see this user Yogesh K it got dollar six which means it's a SHA 512 algorithm and that this is my encrypted uh, or you can say hashed password this particular bit which I highlighted so Ansible copied or or created user using this particular bit and uh, similar here if you see that's dollar six in front it means uh, SHA 5 SHA 512 sorry and that's my encrypted password or hashed password so thanks a lot for watching this video friends I believe this will help you if you are not using some uh, centralized method to manage uh, your root account password or if you have not uh, got AD set up in your environment you can use uh, Ansible to manage your users and passwords so thanks a lot for watching this video friends uh, leave a comment on my channel if you have any query or any suggestion thank you